The more hits we play, the more hits we get. You are LRadio.net. Stacey Sturm. Cameron Ali. On this beautiful Friday morning, everybody. I like doing that extra dot net. I think it adds a little bit to the show. And I'm okay with it, you know? Well, you should be. Cause I only, am. It's like... Um, I'm only enhancing the show. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I have to wonder, like, what goes on in your head when you think about things? I don't know. A lot of things. Because you, cause you, you either go one way or the other. I'm Either very... I am a worthless loser <laughs> or I am the best thing that's ever happened to you. There's really no in between I think the, with Cameron Ali. I think the it's truth. Very schizophrenic. I think what really is going on inside is that I am a worthless loser, yet I mask it by being overly cocky. Oh, see, I thought it was the opposite. I thought maybe you were, you were really cocky but wanted to relate <laughs> to the commoners. Well, I mean, right? I think... I think the thing about my strategy about feeling like a worthless loser, yeah. yet being overly cocky, right. makes others believe that I'm overly cocky. So then they're privileged to hang out with me. Or it they really kind of works. Or they just think you're a DB. I think everybody should be like me. Because if everybody was like me, this world would be a splendid place. Now, is that you being overly and cocky? Pfizer would be very or- happy as well. <laughs> <laughs> How many meds are you on, man? None. I wish. Oh, Cameron Ali. Do you have big plans this weekend? Um, not really. Did you do... My, did I, I ask you? I'm going you? on three weeks of straight with my daughter time. Yeah. <laughs> did you guys do something fun for Valentine's Day? No. What? We didn't, did we? Besides the rock and the Valentine rad box, box, right? right? That yeah. was the best thing ever. She's really like, cool. how are we going to beat it next year, Dad? You have to have, like, add some have lights and some other and stuff. stuff. Yeah. I said, no, no video. You know what I thought? What? We're going to start working on it now. Okay. A dragon, right? And when you open his mouth to put the thing in, smoke comes out, his eyes get red, and he goes, roar! <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes. Like, this year, we just kind of did the guitar thing. Next year. But it played music. Dragon. Next year. With fire breathing. Yeah, the dragon. dragon. That's what Ty had this year. A dragon? Yeah, he had a dragon. Did it breathe fire? No. Um, here's, here's the thing with the dragon. Uh, I thought they made their Valentine boxes in school because, mm-hmm. like, Summer didn't have to do anything. Here's, I thought I was in the clear for Valentine's Day. About three weeks ago, we got Valentine's. Mm-hmm. I said, fill them out, put them on your desk, get them ready to go. Didn't get any things about parties. Didn't get anything about anything. Of course, we said little treats on the Valentines. Right. Ring So pops. I was like, right. Um, no, I think we gave like smart smarties or whatever sucker things it is. Charms, suckers, whatever. So anyway, <clears throat> so I thought Valentine's Day, the, na- the night before, still hadn't gotten anything from school. I'm in the clear. Mm-hmm. Pick the kids up the night before Valentine's Day. Pick them up from school. And Summer informs me. She informs me, uh, by the way, mom, we decided to have a party today and here's what I need to bring. Nice. Oh, you do. And of course it, it, it requires some baking and some putting together of stuff. And then Ty, my day just starts to fall apart. And then Ty says, (laughs) Ty says, oh yeah, me too, mom. I'm bringing treats too. I volunteered to bring treats. Plus, um, we didn't do our Valentine boxes in school. Oh, thanks. Awesome. So um, normally it'd be like, oh, okay, whatever. We'll go get a pinata, hollow it out. Good. Your right. Valentine's box. But here's the thing. It's like five o'clock and now I need to pick up supplies and still be home by six because I volunteered to babysit my twin nieces that are two years old all night. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Dude, if I would have, if she would have came to me last minute. Oh my god! So do you know what Ty did? He got a box. I printed out a dragon head, cut a hole in its mouth, slapped it on the box, cut a hole out of the box. I'm like, you're good. Yeah. No, if she would, there's that oh. thing took me eight hours. I know. You know. Like, she doesn't even care. Yeah, because she'd have so been fine probably if you just given her like a shoe box or something. That's true. Yeah. So then I had no supplies for Valentine box either. We had some. Um, we had some shiny Christmas wrap that we thought would be. <laughs> I spent eighty bucks. I did. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, we grabbed a shoe box that because thank God my mom is a shoe hoarder. Yeah. So we grabbed a shoe box and we wrapped it up in some old Christmas paper. We went to the store. 
I thought we were just going to get a couple of things. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Go up. You know, while we're shopping, we bought... could have bought a guitar for We that. bought you the know Muppet that, right? Show Season 1. Right. Mm-hmm. So I go to and I ring up all my stuff. Hundred bucks. Well, Muppet <laughs> Show was twenty. So I'm like, this damn box just cost me eighty dollars, dude. You could have bought an actual guitar. I know. For her to use for her Valentine box for eighty bucks, you yeah. could have just gone on like Bizman Online and bought a twenty thirty dollar guitar from somebody. Right. Well, you know, I'm not the most brilliant. Wow. But uh, that's crazy. As far as what we're gonna do this weekend, I, I her and I never go to movies. Yeah, and I kind of I told her I said let's have a date night this weekend, and so I want to see that that new movie with The Rock, Mystery oh, Island Two, Journey Two, whatever. Summer yeah. wants to go to that too. Yeah, yeah. you want to take Summer? I think it looks good. Should we take Summer? All right. <laughs> She's like, yeah, that'd be She's awesome. Like, I don't want to hang out with my dad. Screw that. <laughs> At least if I have another girl with me, it's right. going to seem then like it's, it's not normal. As, not as lame, right? <laughs> I'm like, all right, but I sit in the middle and I put my arms around both. Of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're at that age now where Summer wants to go to a movie with friends mm-hmm. by themselves. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm not looking forward to those days. And so I've started. I'm like, okay, she's sixth grade. Mm-hmm. But this is a different time than when I was in sixth exactly. grade. Exactly. Mom and dad would have dropped me off when I was in sixth grade for a PG, PG-13 movie. Not More a big problems, deal. Right. No worries. But I worry about weird people now. There are very weird people. And like young girls are just prey, especially girls her age. They, th- I think they're like the most taken age group around. Right. What about that guy at Walmart? At Walmart. Just grab that girl. Did yes. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. Screw this. I told her. I said, you walk in front of me. Because she always walks behind me. I know. Me. I don't let the kids go away yeah. from me at the store said, at you all. you walk in front of me. And I said, and if you're ever behind me and somebody grabs me. Grabs you. Scream as loud as you can, oh, yeah. even if they say, I'm going to kill you. Yes, we have it. Because they're going to anyway. That's what I said, too. I said, I hate to break it down to you being this age, but if they take you away, you're dead. Right. So, the so whole, you need to do whatever you need to do yeah, not to happen. Yeah, the whole shh or I'll kill you. Yeah. No, screw that. Because they're going to kill you Call anyway. their bluff in front of everybody because when you're alone, they're going to kill you. You hit, you kick, you punch, you, you scratch, you, you scream. You take your finger poke and them you in their stab eye. it in the eye until you rip their eyeball out. Absolutely. And then with their other eye, you make them watch you eat <laughs> the other eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's what my you God. do. That's what you do. And it's funny because here was the talk when I was in sixth grade before school. Make sure you're not hanging out with boys by yourself. Right, exactly. That was All it. All they want to do is kiss. You you know what boys want to do. They're going to want to hold your hand. And then they're going to tell people in the locker room. <laughs> yes. And now we have to have the whole, here's your fighting techniques. Right. Should somebody try to grab you. Exactly. Here's your taser at 10 what years the old. What hell is wrong with these people? Here's a can of mace, honey. Enjoy the movie. I'm buying her a taser. I think I'm going to get her some mace for a keychain. Get her, get her a keychain taser. Where do you get those at? Uh, go to dealsucker.com. You know she'll use it on her brother. See, that's just it. Like, I know she'll use it on me. <laughs> right? I give her a taser, and I'm like, you know what? You can have the car this weekend. <laughs> oh, really? Here you go, Dad. Suck it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So anyway, so she wants to go to Journey, too, but I said, you know, I'll let you go to a matinee. And I'll drop you off. I'll pay for it. I'll watch you walk into the movie theater. Even then, I'm worried about what's going to happen. Yeah. People are so weird. And then you wait, and I will come and pick. I'll walk into the building and pick you up. It's horrible. Oh, I agree with you. It's sad. We, uh, you know what? Just scare the hell out of her. Just print out facts from Williston and say. Oh, this I do. Is I tell her all the month. time. I say you. You wouldn't even believe the stories I see come across my desk from news people, and mm-hmm. you know. Well, and that here's here's the deal too. I know this. Too, but um, Sherry Arnold, when she was running, they the guys actually they didn't want to abduct a forty year old woman. They were actually hoping she was like a fifteen year old girl running, is what they thought, because she looks really young and she had a hoodie on. Mm-hmm. So they actually thought she was like a fifteen year old girl. They never meant to abduct her, which of course doesn't make it any better. It just makes right. them even more demented. Yeah. But they they were they didn't want to prey on a woman. They wanted a young girl to to kill and. Right. Have their way with. Sick, man. I know. I hate this world. I do no. too. I, I wish all the back. bad people would just go away. I just want to go back to the fifties. Me too. You know? you know there was weirdos, but everybody knew who they those two or three were. You know who the weirdos were? White people. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
<laughs> Think about it, right? Like, no, 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 no. You can't use the same water fountain as me, boy. Oh. Right? I mean, think about it. Or was somebody had a brother that was just a little bit slow? <laughs> never hurt anybody, never did anything, but because they were different, like that was the weird person in town. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like what's eating Gilbert grape? Right. Mm. All right. Well, you should probably take Ashley to school. <laughs> Drop her off directly Why are you at the door. Because I insulted white people just now. No, you insult white people all the time. I know I do. <laughs> I don't even notice when you do it anymore. You know the best part? The best part, my classification of race, mine, yes, yes. is Caucasian. <laughs> so, I may be brown. It's pretty ironic. I may be brown looking on the outside, yeah. but I'm just like all of you white people. Oh, Embrace God. me. Love me. Give me hickeys. Hold me. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Bye. Hey, coming up. The uh, 10 worst ways to break up with somebody. We'll talk about that. Also, the National JCs president is going to be in the studio. So we're going to talk with them, see what they're doing in town. Um, and the past president as well. Joni's going to be back. I don't know if you remember. She was on the radio station a while ago. Had such an awesome time. Super fun. Um, let's see. What else do we have going on? We're going to talk about Kid Rock and Zach Brown fun buses. And birthdays and anniversaries actually coming up here in about 10 minutes. So if you know somebody celebrating, get them on our list. Email me, Stacy at URLradio.net. That's S-T-A-C-Y at URLradio.net.